the Joe Rogan experience. I mean, if you read the Bible, it's a pretty interesting book, the first mm-hmm. half, man, when it talks about the kings and their mm-hmm. want for women. You look at King David and his want for Bathsheba, sent the man to the front lines to die, you know. And it's been throughout history. Yeah. People have been involved in those kind of situations. The wrong person actually, in your life. I actually think that's what parts of the Bible are about. Again, I'm not a believer in even Abrahamic religion when I was raised, so I'm trying to take lessons from what I learned. A lot of that shit was just about, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gets crazy, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gets it's, crazy. It's, get, that's what their version of it gets crazy, it gets bro. Gets crazy, bro. Yeah. You know, think about what There's you're lessons doing. Lessons to learn. Yeah. Be careful what you ask for, bro. You wanted yeah. her, bro. Yeah. You know, your first child is gonna die yeah. with her. You know, her. You know, it's like, God damn, bro. You know, but you get you get you get an amazingly talented kid out of her too. You get to redeem it all, but God's gonna let you feel it a little. You How know? much would you pay to have been there when they first started writing that stuff down? Oh. Try to figure out what did you know? Where are you getting these stories? From? I just would have liked to inject. Hey, man, can we keep? Can we? You know, can we make sure Africa? It. it you know, we could talk more about the black folks. You know, that's all I would have just been like. Yeah, like I, in there. Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> like, like, bro, like, come on, bro, like, you know, we were there. Like, not only ah! there, you know, you, ah! you know. Ethiopia, Somalia, Kenya, all these, like, you know all this shit once was just Nubia, even before it was called Egypt. Like, it's like, come right. on, bro. Like, like a lot of this shit is based on, like, why did the Ten Commandments sound eerily like these, these, um, a, uh, these affirmations from Egypt? Like, what, like, yeah. what, you know, I would have, um, I would have said, but you know, man, you, I gotta just say, man, to Western society, propaganda, man, y'all have mastered this shit. <laughs> yo, whoever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? When the church decided, yo, blacks and Jewish people, man, they're like animals. You can enslave them. And Ferdinand and Isabella was like, fuck it. Let's run this shit. Y'all propaganda campaign been mean, man. And not because it necessarily subjugated people like me to brut- the brutalities of slavery and shit like that. It convinced poor white people that we're good for you. The the, the One of the most brutal things about not wanting to know true and factual history is you don't understand how you're being fucked over too. It's like if you look at the word cracker, cracker is not something that black people made up. I used to think, you know, when you were young, you would hear, oh, it means whip cracker. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. It was a derogatory term that um, people in the United Kingdom used for country or slower white folks. Crackers and gypsies. Gypsies were the people known to populate Upper Georgia, Lower Tennessee, Alabama, places like that. They, the uh, redneck was also one of the terms. We didn't make these terms up. These terms came from the master class, or what they would call the planter class, who used poor white people. And when too many Tim Wise talked about this, when too many poor white people and black people who were seen as equals at one point kind of united and had a few rebellions, they were like, "No, we got to put an end to this shit." You know, so I would just say, man, I, I wish that whoever was writing the Bible or remixing it would have put a little more commonality in there so you wouldn't get all this weird, funky division and the masters still kind of rule us all, you know? Well, it's still always the people that are in charge that yeah. are disseminating that information initially. Yeah. And they're always, they always have some sort of an interest yeah. in framing it in a way that suits them the best. Like, even in the foundation of the country, all men are created equal. Yeah. So... What they had to do to justify that is to say that black men are three fifths of so, a man. Yep, three, yep, three, four, so yep, they're literally yep, putting it into yep. the way they structure yep, the yep, country. Yeah, yeah, and and it, and it was a, there was an economic incentive to do it. You know, yes, and 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 that doesn't make it right, but it helps my community understand that the shit's about money and why they did it. But why did the church do it? It's just so you got to think about that though. Before we get to America, yeah, and I guess the church. The Catholic Church at one point says, we can go ahead and tell everybody all human beings are equal. Let's stop bullshit. But instead, they choose to say Jews and black people are different. And Ferdinand and Isabella and Portugal and said, well, fuck it. It's all. And you, the transatlantic slave trade starts. So my thing is getting back to why was the Bible written like that gets back to, so why would the church allow that? And then you get to ask, well, if the church allowed that, then why aren't they included in there? You know, and, and, and beyond who's the bad guy, what empires in Africa are we not talking about? What kings have we not talked about? What great and glorious? Because the Greeks looked at Africans like they were gods. Yes. They look at these motherfuckers. These are the illest motherfuckers on earth. Whoever they, was there during the construction of the pyramids has created the most insane structures the world's ever known. Count Volney 
says, and they made him retract it, but he said of, of ruins of empires, he said, it is obvious to me that the people we now subjugate to slavery, these dark haired, kinky, kink, uh, kinky haired, these dark, kinky haired people were once the rulers and builders. They put this shit here. He said that. He was an Orientalist, which were people who were sent out of their countries to, you know, to go study Asia, Eastern African shit. This motherfucker standing there like the motherfuckers that built this shit. Somehow we've subjugated slavery. And when people say, you know, if you were smart enough to do that, how could you be made a slave? Genghis Khan wasn't particularly smart. He was violent and brutal. And a lot of times the people who won have been the most violent and brutal. Well, Genghis Khan was both, but. Yeah. yeah, he was he was both violent, brutal, and very intelligent. But just intelligent from a military way. Yes. Okay. Tactically. No, no. I mean, but I'm talking beyond military. Like, what did he what did he build? Oh, there was no building. But it, that's what I'm saying. Was, yeah, but it was just figuring out how to destroy empires. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's a, yes. That's not the same though. It's building an empire. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? No, it's definitely it's yeah. definitely not the same. Yeah, it doesn't. It you know I can I can I know some gang leaders that that are comparable to war generals, mm. right? But the question becomes, who are the people that are going to build the next empire? Right. And I think that that's where the danger in the old world of when the church was really a government, the church conspiring with warlords for certain things to be destroyed so they can then come and assume control of. You know, because ultimately, even the most brutal people don't end up winning. The most shrewd people do. The, 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 The that small circle of brilliant motherfuckers that know how to control like. You know, beyond Genghis, who were who were who were his advisors? Who profited most from it? You know what I'm saying? Oh, he was famous for capturing armies and incorporating their generals. Yeah, that's he would. You know, and and if the, if someone tried to surrender, he would just kill them because he would say, "Well, what are you going to do with me? Like, why would I do that?" Oh shit! So they would say, I, "I've I've surrendered. I've come. I'm coming to you." And he'd go, "Oh really? Well, I'm going to fucking kill you because you have no loyalty, you piece oh, of wow. shit." Oh wow! Oh wow! But he would take over like it, with certain generals and certain he would he would bring them in yeah. and just accept them yeah. he was completely open to any religion yeah. he goes i don't give a he fuck was brilliant for that. what your religion is. he was brilliant for that. you could be you could be whatever you want we're here to fuck people up yeah okay and fuck because apparently yeah, he left fuck. a lot of descendants oh my god yeah they were like Insane one of us amounts. three has genghis khan blood in our Duh. body apparently it's something crazy like yeah. that we've talked about it many times and i always forget what the percentage is